So I like to sit in this corner of my couch, which this isn't going to look professional, folks. <laughs> this is how I make, oops, um, it gives me good leverage. It's a good position, it's a consistent position to keep the, um, the hold on the tape steady so that I can get steady spirals and so that I can squeeze out any lumps or bumps in the tape. And it also gives me uh, a nice way of holding the hoop so that I can stay in control of it. So I hook my knee in on the side, I push it against the armrest, and then I hook my uh, other knee, or I rest it on my other knee over on this side. And I start with the hardest one first, which is the duct tape. It's very hard to get to lay straight down. Don't be too picky when you first start. You'll get the hang of it after like two hoops. So don't be too picky. Just get down with the, the first couple so you can see it and get the flow of it. Start angling out. And now I've learned from my best girlfriend because she is like a machine at making hoops. It's easiest to keep the tape very close to the roll. I used to kind of pull the tape off, so I have the roll way back here, trying to stretch it out and make it stay around, but it's easier to have the tape close to the roll. That way you get less bumps and it's easier to keep it nice and flat. lie, this spacing here is never perfectly even, but what does it matter? You're going to cover it up with another tape anyway. A lot of times mine, they get smaller and then they get bigger and then they get closer together and then farther apart. And, you know, it does that all the way around the hoop. So don't worry about that. You can still make it even after everything's done. It'll still look good. Okay, so here we got all the way to the end, and I just wanted to show you, like, sometimes my spirals are way off once I get to the end, like, they don't match up at all. So a way that it's, you know, it'll still look even, but what you can do is just, <clears throat> this one matches up pretty close. So I'm just going to tape over this side and end it and cut it off. Sometimes they don't match up at all. So I just kind of tape over it, maybe a couple spirals, and then cut it off. And then I'll make it even when I go and I fill in the, the other spirals, spirals with a new color. Okay, also I wanted to show when you like inspect it after you do the duct tape, Sometimes on the inside, you find wrinkles. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting. There's a wrinkle right there. And you can just rub them out, usually. Okay, here we go. And I just go around, and I inspect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you can rub the wrinkles out, that's a plus. There's one. Just push them out. And the rest looks pretty good. Okay, 
Now for the last color, which was the thin electrical tape, I decided instead of just lining the edge, I was going to do opposite spirals. Now, sometimes these can be tricky for me because I'll start off um, doing the opposite spiral and it'll look kind of like a V here. And then once I get done, it'll end up being like an X. <laughs> so you have to make sure that you keep an eye on, you know, where the tape is landing at the top of, the, of one spiral and at the bottom of the other if you wanted a V look. And if you want an X look, make sure every time it's it's crossing right over the middle of that spiral so that I can keep you know keep crossing there and you might have to take some off and put it back on to try and make everything seem a little bit more even if your spirals of course aren't perfect which they're never going to be but other than that you know it looks it looks pretty good I like it I like it with the opposite spirals Me crazy, baby